you clicked on this video because you're not getting much SR in ranked play and you want an explanation why. Well, today we're going to go in depth on SR gain and losses and try to allow you to understand what's going on behind the scenes because sometimes it makes no sense and it kind of, sometimes it hurts. Sometimes you know, it, it sucks to understand how it works a little bit. I don't know any back end code. I just know how SR systems work. I have good information on the details and how they shape the SR system. So first off, the basics. You win the game, you gain SR. You lose the game, you lose SR. It's pretty basic from that point. But what people don't know is that there are different factors that go into, you know, how much SR you gain and why you gain more or less inside of that bracket that you're in. So there's different brackets, bigger bracket, a medium bracket, and kind of a smaller bracket. When you're in your beginning phases of ranked play, you're going to be in the upper bracket. And the longer you can stay in this upper bracket, you will be gaining more and more SR. So you'll be gaining the 150 SR, the 200 SRs, that's the top bracket. But once you start losing a few games, you're going to slowly shift down this medium bracket. So now, you're gonna be gaining more like 90 to 100 SR every win and it might slowly go down to like 60 or 70 and that's when you're slowly phasing from the medium bracket to the lower bracket and when you're in that lower bracket which there's not a bracket below it but we'll let's go over this one first this lowest bracket I call it is the grinding phase where you are in the point where you have to prove to the game what you need to get better and I'll explain all this a little bit deeper but I'm just going over the basics of the, this like bracket system I'm, I have that lowest bracket you are gaining 30 to 40 SR every win and you're losing about 20 to 30 on losses on average obviously but that's the grind phase that's when you have to win and you have to go through and you gotta win a lot of games you gotta win more games and you'll lose to improve your rank and this is proving to the system basically that you are better than you are and there's the phase of when you're losing more sr than when you win a game and that's when you are considered overrated boosted etc you know tons of names people call them and that's the area you don't want to get into so today we're going to help you get out of those areas and into the upper areas but you can't go too high because the upper area is just a fluke the beginning stages of ranked play you're not going to be getting 200 sr for the entire time so let's get in this a little bit so there is an HPR system. An HPR is your hidden performance rating. And what is a hidden performance rating? That is what the game believes you are. So if you are a bronze three, making a, uh, I'm going to the extreme levels to make a point. You're bronze three, but you are playing like a crimson three. You're beating players in your area who were crimson in the last game. The game is going to assign you an HPR of let's say crim one. So once you are crim one, that game is going to try to expedite you up to that level. Basically, they're going to evaluate who you're playing and who you're beating and losing against the previous games. And you know, in that game specifically, you might already be playing a guy who's like gold three, level like eight, and that guy might be also on his way to a crim a crim HPR as well. So there's a lot of hidden things behind the scenes that you have to remember that they're not really showing you everything. And when you see somebody who's like a level eight gold three or gold uh, or a plat one, maybe that guy is getting a lot of SR every win. And he's probably a pretty good player and he's gotten there very fast. He's not losing many games and losing games is the Achilles heel in range play. Don't lose games. Every time you lose games, you hurt your SR gains in the long run. So your MMR, which these are just, I'm going over terms, MMR is your matchmaking rating, and that is the level you are. Let's say you are Crim 1, Plat 1, you know, Diamond 1. This is your matchmaking rating. This is what people see, and people always go, why am I this rank, but I'm matching against this, uh, matched against this rank? And this kind of comes from, right now, you know, everybody's everywhere, you know. So a lot of people don't always just have time to drop everything and play the game right away. So they might come in late, and they might be like a Silver 2, but they're going to be in a Diamond Lobby, and that guy might have been Iridescent in Modern Warfare 2, and he's really good at this game as well. So he's gonna be on his way there. And they're like, why am I getting pooped down by a silver? Well, it's because that guy is obviously not a silver. He's on his way. But to improve the odds of that guy getting to you know the top ranks fast, he's gonna be gaining 150 to 200 SR every game. So he gets out of those lower lobbies where he might be playing like platinums and diamonds until he can get to that you know, diamond diamond crimson level, then he's gonna have to start grinding the game a little bit more. Another factor for SR gain is the opponent's HPR that you played. Harder opponents will give you more SR for wins and less for losses. And this basically means that if you're playing an opponent that the game thinks is harder than you. So if your HPR is a plat one, and you're playing a diamond one team. Let's just say yeah, the whole teams are the same because they're, they're usually not the same. But what's going to happen then is when if you win that game, you're going to get, let's say, if you're in your grinding phase, you're not getting much SR, you're going to get 45 SR if you win this game. But if you lost and it was a close game, you're only going to lose like 19 or 20 probably. So that means that you are gaining double the SR than you do when you lose a game, which is probably good. But 
let's say if say your HPR is a plat one, you play gold ones and you lose that game, you're going to lose the upper bracket of about like 40 SR at that time. So that's what you don't want. You don't want to lose against players that you should beat. So that's why, you know, playing with your team and really, you know, making sure that you make the most of every single game is a really big thing. Your personal performance also determines your SR. It doesn't actually make a big difference in your SR, but let's say if you win a game and you go double negative and you somehow won the game, you're probably getting 20 SR. You're probably getting 15 or 16 SR, you know, but you're getting SR. You're not losing. You would have lost 50 if you, or you may have lost 40 or 50 if you, if you lost that game. So that's a 60 SR swing. So yeah, think of it in the bright side, you know, you weren't playing good that game. You got carried by your teammates and you ended up gaining, you know, if you guys were lost game, you lost 50 or 60 SR and you just only gained 16 or 17. Yeah, that's a good thing. Everyone has bad games because if you just got 200 SR every game, because you, they, the game thinks you're, you are a platinum one and you are creeping up in gold. If you keep getting 200 SR a game, you're going to be jumping gold so fast that you're going to be in diamond lobbies. And you know what's going to happen next is you're going to be getting basically just pooped on by everybody. And you're going to be wanting to know why the game's matching. And it's all these sweaty tryhards. Well, basically what the game is trying to do is trying to actually put you in a competitive match. I know everybody has an ego and everybody thinks they should be a higher rank than they are. And, you know, playing people at different levels. But at some point, guys, you got you to gotta look yourself in the mirror and be like, am I really this good? You know, I'm playing these people and they're beating me. I, I beat golds, but, I, you know, I'm not playing diamonds very well. Maybe I am a plat player, you know. Now you have to come to that realization. You have to, you know. Look, look at yourself and go, hey, what am I doing wrong? Because I know I'll, I'll watch my gameplays back and I'll just be sitting there going, oh, I can see small things that I need to do, you know, the tweak in this. Oh my God, I could have played that better. I watch every video that I post on, you know, I watch every video when I edit them, but I also watch them when they're actually live on YouTube, just, you know, the feel of what the YouTube experience is with my own video. And I'll watch my own gameplay and I'll be like, oh my God, I just threw this round or, you know, I, I did this completely wrong and I could have done this better. So that's what you guys need to do. You need to find a way to you know, review yourself and you know look in the mirror kind of and see what you can do to improve and if you need help improving i have many videos on my channel that you guys can you know learn off of and gain uh, some better knowledge on how to play different situations better i'm not the best player in the world you know i'm not a top 250 player but i'm a pretty good player and i usually understand what's going on in the game pretty well so when the game thinks you are overrated, you are boosted, you know, the game is trying to get you back to a level that you're going to enjoy because if you're getting pooped on every game you're not going to find that very much fun, right? So the game is trying to find a way to put this in perspective and, and the game will test you. If you're in like platinum, you're going to get put up against diamond sometimes. You're never going to see a crimson in once matchmaking is proper, but right now they have an extended period where they're going to allow them different, different ranks to play different people because everybody is just starting up for the first time here. But at some point, you know, crimson can, can only play diamond players and iridescent players. And if you're a platinum player, you can only play diamond players and everybody below you. So if you're a gold player, you know, you can only play, I think it's, uh, you, I don't, you can play only people who are close to you in diamond. So if you're gold one, you can only play somebody diamond one. So, you know, they're trying to do some good things to not make you go into these tough lobbies. But at the same time, you're not going to be gaining much SR by beating people who you are equal to. If you are equal to somebody, you should not be getting 200 SR because that means that you should be triple what they are, you know? That's just not how it works, guys. So that's why at some point you aren't going to get much SR but the last thing that you guys need to remember is your last 10 games really determine a big a big difference in the amount of SR that you're going to be getting so to break this down in a really good way your last 10 games if you win 10 games in a row your SR might go from 30 to 40 every time you win to 50 to 60 maybe even 70 when you're winning and that is because you are showing that you are improving as a player and the opponents you are playing you are not you you are now better than so if you are now better than your opponents that means you should be ranked higher so this is how you actually increase your hpr and show the game that you actually do deserve to be at the certain rank that, that the game thinks you are so that's something to keep in mind guys that is uh, i think the biggest thing and and lastly there's a bracket basically a range of sr you can get every time you win a game if you win more games like i just said you will increase your, you know your your max range and if you are also winning a lot you are going to increase your minimum sr you get so and you're also going to decrease the amount of SR you lose when you lose a game. If you are consistently winning a game, if you are only losing one game out of 10, there's a chance of you losing a ton of SR for that one loss is gonna be small. But if you are going four and six in your last 10, yeah, you're gonna be losing a lot of SR. And I know guys, I know there's a lot of reasons why people lose games and stuff, but at the end of the day, 
if you can't single-handedly take over a match you shouldn't be getting 200 sr you shouldn't be getting 150 sr and that's kind of the point that is behind this whole system is that if you can't take the game over and you'll win the game for your team you are not so much better than everybody else in the game that you should be in like two or three different uh, divisions higher than you are you are probably almost in the right division but you're probably one or two off like level so if you are a gold one you might be a gold for your plat one basically what the game's telling you so and if you do want some tips on how to rank up fast and modern warfare 3 ranked play go check out this video right here